Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drax, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. I'll be honest, the dialogue here is like 10 times better than it was in the main storyline of Mass Effect. Um, I, 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 I know that some people think that it's some of it's a little bit stupid, but for me, I thoroughly enjoyed it a little bit more. Hey, can you drop by the bio lab? Yes, yes I can. Um, but the one thing that I do want to always kind of like point out is mainly because in the Mass Effect DLC, the Mass Effect DLC was so much more lighthearted, um, the Citadel one, and this kind of like harkens back to it where you can have a little bit more fun. Um, so let's see what the fuck is going on with the research center. I'm like depressed over because I do not have enough anything for anything. Where is that? No. Wait, where am I going? We haven't really spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Let's see, I like this guy. worse than the Nexus. This guy is possibly one of my favorite Solarians ever. Thank God you are flying my ship. How are you doing? Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? If I could stand here and drink in that view all day. Ooh, am I flirting when I was with him? piloting the ship back home, I often did. Ooh, can I flirt of with course, this Larry? Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. That's the, that's the fun part. <laughs> I get it. Like leaving a good story half-finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian arc missing, you might not get many chances oh, to compare. Oh. No. Did you hear anything about the arc back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. <laughs> that snide little bureaucrat. Yes! All the you hate him too! The others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Oh my god, I just want nothing more than just to hug the shit out of you. Ugh! Okay, let's see. Are you going to be interesting at all? Are you, with your terrible accent, going to be interesting at all with that ugly, ugly pink lipstick? Let's see. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. You are literally the voice actor for the Morgan and Smite. I, I need to look it up, but I swear to God, you are literally the voice actor for the Morgan and Smite. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. That actually sounds Helios really stupid. Helios is incredible, <laughs> isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You are legitimately playing the Morrigan from Smite. I'm not even kidding. You're legit. You sound like you're playing the exact same person. You mean a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. Uh, I kind uh, yeah. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. Okay, don't get too attached. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. Oh, professional or casual? I wasn't questioning your abilities. You never have to justify yourself to me. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that, truly. 
Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. A part of me legitimately feels that regardless of whether you choose casual or whether you choose um, like professional, I don't really feel like it makes that much of a difference, does it? Am I crazy? All right, let's just, uh, I, I read it, kind of, I guess. Let's, <laughs> let's just go and, and figure out where the fuck I'm supposed to go next. Oh, wait. Cora wanted me to check on the biotics with her. There's like a biotics lab on this thing, right? Am I nuts? No, possibly. There you go. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? You look a little jittery. Maybe. What the hell was that? <sighs> I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A Huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one before the initiative. So cool, though. Some things stick, though, like losing the old man. How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? I know, so badass. Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry sent me to Thessia to serve with a Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. You were a second in command. Were you friends, too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Were you two fucking? Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. You two were fucking. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. Like? Because y'all were fucking? Because my mom's dead, apparently? Is she dead? Did you kill my mom? What happened to my mama? There's a lot of loss going around. Dad, the Golden Worlds. A friend and mentor who trained you to be a Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way. And I meant it. But I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you. There's a secret reason that I can't tell you about. What the hell was he Shh. thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answer. I can't tell you, though. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. You came out here for the daddy penis. That's what you came out here for. What did you... What did... Oh, no. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. That's... I, I was thinking that this one was the heart one. But this one... Maybe I need to, like freeze her out no let's be nice but i'm no hearts not that hard be casual let's not freeze her out completely she was fucking your daddy we can be nice because i'm sure that you know they were happy together after your mom died and she swooped in like a terrible terrible woman shame on you cora shame on you so what brought you out to andromeda daddy Biotics fucking like this thinking like an asari huntress I never had a place. As best I could be was a useful freak. In the, the sheets? Was meant to be you different. just exposed yourself, you Cora! This mission succeeds, so I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. I kind of love the fact that she is the voice for, like, the Asari. You know what I mean? She's, like, non-traditional. She's not an actual Asari person, but she's, like, she's repping. She's repping for her Asari heritage, and I'm kind of into that. Anybody in here? Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Well, then where are you at, Vetra? <laughs> Use some help. Oh, all right, let's move along. Um, I guess we gotta fly... Wait, there are other people in here that I should probably talk to. Let's go, let's go and find them. Now, I know I left out all of the politicians ones in the last episode, but that's because they were all dickheads and they all made me want to bash my brains in. At least this group is like, at least this group makes you kind of want to hug them a little bit, you know? The other group of people just made you want to like, oh my god, all of it, all of it except for, um, 
except for the Krogan one that I loved so much. I love the shit out of her. The only thing that I'm really paranoid about is that she's gonna break my heart. Is that Krogan lady's gonna break my heart? She's gonna end up backstabbing us or something. Please don't. If you're looking for me, I'm in the escape pod room. I don't know what the fuck that is, girl. Pathfinder making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Wanna see how the riffraff are making out? Pretty much. Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? King, actually. You might want to bow. <laughs> Otherwise, no telling what might fall off the nomad when you're out there. I'll take my chances. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. Now, um, funny enough that this line is, it must have been hard, is <laughs> because I do believe that Gil is one of the gay options. And I've seen some of his cutscenes so far. I know, I like snuck it in there. I was like, ooh, what's it gonna be like? And he seems, he actually seems kind of nice. He's a little, like, olive -y for me. Like, I don't know if that's a human skin tone, but you know, that is what that is. And I never minded a ginger. Seems like life back there was pretty bleak. Not gonna lie, it sucked. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Ooh, close ties. is that right? Sense of purpose. Feel it, do it. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. Oh, oh, oh no. I don't, uh, I don't want to commit. Look, let's, we're just, it's just flirting. It's just flirting for now. I mean, he seems, he, he's a little, he's a little extra, but you know, it's char it's been a while. I've been asleep for 600 years. Let's just let Happy it go. Happy to be of service. I think you'll see that showing up is only one of my many talents. Is that right? Well, I'll be sure not to blink. I want to see them all. Let me know if I go too fast for you. <laughs> There's no such thing. You just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. This Deal? whole conversation Deal. is going too fast for me. I will be 150% honest with you, okay? <laughs> Literally. Um, nobody flirts that fast. Nobody, nobody in real life would say something like that so quickly, would they? I don't know, let me know in the comments if you have been, like, this is like moment one. Like, we have literally just been talking about this. And all of a sudden, everybody's getting frisky. Like, man, give me a break. Like, it, it's it's slow with me. I don't I don't do all of this quick shit. Let's see if we can find PB. Uh, uh, crew quarters. Crew info. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. Wait, where the fuck are you, disembodied voice of Vetra? Go, where are you at? Ooh, is this? Oh. Ooh, is this a shower? Oh, no, that's the toilet. This is the shower. <laughs> Wait, is that multiple shower heads? Eh. Okay, some people trying to make sexy times in, in the showers. That's inappropriate, but I mean, you know, we're in space, so who cares? <laughs> You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years on the Hyperion looking after your sister. Oh, my dead sister. <laughs> the one that's dead. All right. It's okay. I like you a lot better. He was a little bit of an asshole to me. Hmm. You know Sarah's the good one. I think you're both trouble. <laughs> Hold still. Ow. Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. <laughs> we all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here, 
Uh, what? A kept corpse. For autopsy, I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Oh, well, she Why is twisted. Cat? Harry didn't tell you? I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. She wants to cut some My people open. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. Well, I mean, after being caught in, like, a big explosion of green wildfire, you know, some things kind of twist you in the brain. Yeah, that's right, Marjorie. I know you. I know you. That's a very specific topic. I grew up on Omega. Lots of Krogan mercenaries. The best habitat outside Tuchunka. But we were discussing the Ket. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan. Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats his vegetables. Oh. I'm, I'm kind of really liking her, though. I love the voice actress for her. She's fan-fucking-tastic. And that's probably why she got so much airtime in, like, all of those, uh, all of those thingamabobbers. All of the little screeny screens. I don't know how to talk. You, you These know. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Oh, shit! Your quarters. It's my room! Sam's router is down there, too. What? I can check the what wardrobe screen. Ah, what? Oh my god, email terminal. Oh my. Uh, uh, um, isn't there is there, a closet for me to get? Oh, you got just in? Oh hell yeah! Here's the thing. I know for a fact. I know for a fact that I have a. I have that have some things. I think from uh whatever it's called. Oh my god! Hold on. Hold on. Don't I have, um, DLC things? Select outfit? Wait, hold on. Don't I have something different? No? Short sleeves? We'll do short sleeves. Um, I should have something. I don't want a jacket. No jacket, please. There should be, like, a hoodie one, right? That I got from the stupid DLC thing? I'll have to look that up and figure out how to get that. But we can customize our outfits! Custom tints. Custom tints, motherfucker. Customize colors, bitch. All right. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, you're gonna watch me fashion frame for a minute. I'm sorry. I I need this in my life. Outfit color one is we're gonna make it. Yeah, we'll leave it dark. We'll leave it like that grenier, that grenierish gray. Tint color two. What is this? The fuck is this? Hello. Oh no. Okay. Well, I guess that's actually tint color two. Tint color one is where are you? Oh, you're like side panels. Let's make you even darker. We can make it white. We can make it, we'll make him a prime, motherfucker. Hell yeah, motherfucker. You're gonna be a prime. You are going to be a prime in the game. All right. Wait. What? 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 What are you doing? Uh, okay. You're good. Don't. Why are you doing this to me? Why? 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 Okay, armor tinting up. Uh, custom, customized colors. Oh my god, fix your game, Bioware. Fix your game. I need to be able to tint things. Okay. Okay. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Color two, color three. Maybe I just need to hit, like, so select out. And we should be fine. I don't know. Um, actually, shouldn't this? No, 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 this should be this should be like the darker gray. It should be the darker gray. Pattern select. Pattern select. This is where. Oh my god! I'm so angry right now. Why isn't anything keeping? I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm so angry. Wait, hold on. This is making me, like, super frustrated. Okay. Custom tints. Customized colors. Alright? Outfit color what? Okay. We're gonna give you, like, a golden panel, and we're gonna see if we can make that stick. Because that's really... That really seems to be the rough part right now. Like, a kind of rosy, pinky gold. Something along those lines. Uh, Alright. I'm double clicking. I'm right clicking. I'm doing all the clicks. Now we're good in the move. Why does nothing save? Oh my god, you're making me so angry right now. 
Okay. Exit. No? no. What? How does this even... Oh my god, you, you are evil. You are... Evil. What are you doing? Fix your game, Bioware! This is the part that matters the most! Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Exit. No. Just, just put me in the defaults. Put me in the fucking defaults. I don't need to look like it's some stupid tryhard. There you go. Or what's auto tint? What's auto tint? What's okay? Okay, we're just gonna go with that. We'll just fucking call it, call that a day because it's just making me mad. It's making me so mad right now. <gasps> oh. All right. The vaults. Tempest hack, spirituality, about your dad, yada yada yada, in case you're interested. What's yoga poses? From Lex- <laughs> She's literally giving us workout tips. Alright, let's uh, get out of here, because clearly I can't work- I, I, I can't do anything right, alright? <laughs> Escape. Let's move. Hi Sam. Hello Scott. Eos has been a lesson in contrast. Alec Ryder rarely endured doubt. His accomplishments were taken for granted. But you succeeded on Eos, despite doubt and fear. Emotionally, the difference is like catching a ball versus catching a star. It's you have grown difference. as a result, and so have I. Uh, you are freaking me out, by the way. Um, because you're attached to my brain. Alright? So let's talk about memory triggers. What's the latest on memory triggers? A memory has unlocked and is available for further investigation. You will need to return to Sound Node in the Hyperion. Okay. Um, Sam's location, where are you? Are you still on the Hyperion? Yes. This terminal provides a direct link to my servers in Sound Node on the Ark. I can maintain a presence on the Tempest via quantum entanglement communication. And in my brain? Let's say hypothetically, I was out sick the day they taught quantum... <clears throat> uh, embezzlement communism. <laughs> Via entangled subatomic particles, it's possible to conduct secure and instantaneous communication across great distances. It ensures I remain in touch with you and the Pathfinder team at all times. <sighs> Is it confusing to be in multiple places talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a SAM node technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. Well, you better be. You're in my brain. You're literally in my brain. Oh, this is going to be depressing. What was Dad's take on me and Sarah? He believed your family trials brought you closer together, and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well-founded. Well, hopefully it's still founded, instead of, uh, kind of dead. <laughs> so if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes. Lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay, try telling me a joke. A neutron enters a bar and asks, How much is a drink? The bartender replies, For you, no charge. I can see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. I am definitely freaked out about that guy. That That is one freaky, scary whatnot. Because he's attached directly into our brains. And I don't know if that's okay, necessarily. Like, he's he's in there. He is, like, in there. Don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Quit worrying, Rushan. It'll be fine. Don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. It's a oh, Lushan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus Superintendent. Oh, Lushan I love Kesh! Around just because she's my granddaughter. <gasps> she's your granddaughter? No wonder I love you and her! Oh my god, she's the best. You're the best. You're gonna be on my team ASAP. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Ah. I like the way you sing. I'm getting like a firefly vibe mm -hmm. off of this. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. <laughs> Follow me, Tam. Damn politicians. Oh, I hate him. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Aww. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. 
It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Fuck yeah. Fuck that asshole. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. Yep. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. Aww. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. Now the question is, what happened to her dad? Because this is this is Grandpa right here, right? Where did Daddy go, right? Like that makes me kind of paranoid. Med bay, um, crew quarters. I still haven't seen freaking um, Vetra, and I have no clue where the escape pods are, which is probably a bad thing. I should probably know where the escape pods are on my own goddamn ship. But, 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 what, you're here somewhere, Vetra. I know you are. Wait, what is this? No, that's the med bay. That's, oh, I'm lost on my own ship. This is exactly what happened on the Normandy, too. Could not fucking find my way around anywhere. What is this, armory? <gasps> it's Vetra. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. Found you! <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Aww. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... <laughs> She's like, fuck off. So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Oh. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. I guess that's kind of like what he was saying about earlier, uh, the other Krogan, not the other Krogan, the other... Oh my god, I forgot what they were! The other Garrus. <laughs> the other Garrus. They're like, so used to working, that it's kind of like she's like, eager to work. No, no love for you either. I mean, I, I like you, I like you a lot, I think you're super cool, but um... Ability to haggle with the locals? Great. But please tell me you're also good in a fight. Like I said before, Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between, I do what I have to. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later? Y'all. Yeah. Now all I gotta do is find that little rascal PV. Where are ya? Where are ya? Where are you hiding, you little... Well, scamp. That's storage. Is, is this it? What is going on here? Oh, I'll find it. Tell me with something. <laughs> I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. Not giving up a six percent boost, right? <laughs> right, right. What? Never mind. BS for the requisition. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. No, I have Think no about clue. Your much? I have no clue what Hustle is. You can't... See, here's the thing. Whenever they have all of these acronyms and stuff, or, or uh, whatever it is where they make the thing shorter and they put dots in between, I can't ever remember the names of those things. I remember, like, maybe two words out of the whole thing. Tell me about your group. Heavy Urban Search Terrain 1. Yeah. Okay. First contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST-1, but... Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. 
Did you beard it as in... It tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, yeah. give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. Oh, now here's the thing. I know for a fact, because I did my research, he will turn you down because he is not into men. However, I will be honest with you, he's uh, probably one of the more charming of the crew, but I never, I don't like barking up the wrong tree. It's, it's you don't, you don't chase, you get chased. I hoped my lion's career would lead to adventure, exploring, hunting dangers in the dark. Didn't happen. Couldn't. But here, everything's new, and I want to see it all. Oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job. Nothing was wrong. Just I just heard about adventure. the initiative and... I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. Yeah, I mean, well, you can't fucking change your mind now. 600 years later and in a completely different galaxy. This is where you are. If it all goes wrong, it could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In Crisis Response, I focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered. You've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. I'm not so sure about that one. I like, you know what? I like the fact that, um, I like the fact that Scott Ryder is, like, kind of unpolished. Like, he doesn't fucking know what he's doing. Because I think that's a little bit more relatable than, let's say, um... Shepard, who's who knows everything, you know, he was a veteran, he he's experienced and all that kind of crap. As opposed to, let's say, Scott, who just like kind of stumbled in into uh everything that he is, and I think that it makes more sense, at least to me, where it's like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here on a new planet. I don't know how to use the new systems that they gave me. So, you know, I kind of I kind of like that. It feels really relatable. And it, it kind of feels touching with all of all of this stuff. Now let me just find out where the fuck PB is. Where are you? So we can uh, move along and we can get back to our planets and whatnot. But I don't want to forget about you like I nearly did about Liam. I should probably just look at the map, shouldn't I? <laughs> Let's find the map. Alright. So here's the Tempest. Meeting room. Galaxy map. Alright. What is this? New deck. Engineering. Tech lab, bio lab, research room. Yeah, 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 we know that. All right. Airlock, escape pods. There you are. All right. We, we probably could have done this to begin with, but you know what? I like to just explore and walk and uh, embarrass myself completely. All right, so... Right? It's like this way. And it's probably... This way? Yeah, there you go. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. Jesus, if it's I a mess! this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents, just trying to. I look forward, not back, writer. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Well, who you are kind of determines, like, who you are is kind of determined by who you've been, right? So, I don't know. 
<laughs> you should try sleeping more. Maybe you just needed more sleep. We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. Oh. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. <laughs> yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Hmm. Remtech, huh? You got it. 